It's hard for me to believe this, but Absinthe 6 is here. If you're not familiar with Absinthe, I would say it's an extraordinary scent. So if you want to download Absinthe 6, I'm gonna leave a link in the description box below. In this video, I'm gonna be sharing with you some of the presets and also show you around the new interface. So if you haven't already, do me a favor, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, and don't forget to turn on the bell notifications. So whenever I drop a new video, you will be the first person to be notified. Also, I do wanna let you know that it does support polyphonic aftertouch as well as MPE. So great technology in this new update. Now let's dive into Absinthe 6. All right, so here is the interface for Absinthe 6 and I'm using complete control for this demonstration. If you are using Absinthe in standalone, what you're gonna wanna do is go to these three dots right here and then click on settings and that's to open your MIDI controls. But because I'm using complete control, I have my global me controls elsewhere. But if you, again, if you're using it on standalone, you're gonna to wanna to come here and then select your keyboard that you're using. So for me, I'm using the S control 61 keyboard and I'm gonna to wanna to select that to that. Now, if I was using my Novation launch key, then I would select that. If you're using another keyboard, then you would wanna select that. We can also use this three dots to change the scale. So right now I have mine scaled up to 125. Um, some people like to work smaller to 100 or you can go bigger to 150. Then right next to that, we have our preset selector. We can save our patches. And then you're gonna notice this right here. It says browser. We have the patch. We have the effect, the wave, envelope, LFO, assign. Then we can see our in and out. And then we have our emergency, I guess, stop button here. It's the exclamation mark. And that is pretty much that. So if I go back to browser, we are presented with this screen. Now this is probably gonna be the main screen that you're on for the most part. I'm gonna leave these other windows to the expert so they can explain that to you. But for now, what I wanna do is stay in the browser and we're gonna go through some of these presets here. Now I can either go through from the screen or I can use my controller. And right here we have Absinthe. We can select Absinthe and then we can go from here. So that's what I wanna do is use my controller don't pay too much attention to the screen. Just focus in on what's going on right here. All right, so here we have the Absinthe 6. Before I go through the presets, I do want to show you where it says bank. You have the sounds from Absinthe 4, Absinthe 5, Absinthe 6, and then you have the other presets and expansions down here. So I'm just going to leave this to Absinthe 6. Uh, you have more controls over here. You can go to type, select a different type. But for now, we're just going to leave it on Absinthe 6, and then we're going to go through some of the presets. So let's go up to the top. Check this one out.
I do want to say this is a pre-release version, so you might see my screen glitch a few times, but hopefully everything will be sorted out when the version comes out for you guys. As you can see, there's so many different sounds in Absinthe 6. I would be here all day if I was going to go through all of them. I do want to show you when I go to the bank, we have, I like Absinthe 5 particularly. And then we can go to the type and we're going to do maybe some, let's go with the uh, drums. How about Absinthe 4? I hope you have enjoyed this video and the return of Absinthe. Again, I'm gonna leave a download link in the description box below if you wanna download Absinthe 6. It's your boy, Young Fizz, Mr. Dope Status, and we will see you on the next video. Thank you for tuning in, and we are out.